What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video we're going to be looking at a really easy trick using Stripper Deck where you can find the spectator's card from behind your back. So before we delve into showing you how this works, I'll do a quick performance for you. So essentially you can get the cards, you can give them a, a cut, give them a shuffle, whatever you want. A uh, spectator can sort of pick through and pick a card, so this card for example, Ten of Diamonds. Spectator can then lose that card in the deck, as you can see, it's freely in the middle. Now what you do is you tell the spectator, you can take this deck behind your back and you're gonna find their playing card. So you sort of have a mess around. I found it. So I found your playing card and I've turned it over. Now, you may think, well, all the deck's turned over, so obviously my playing card's gonna be turned over. But when you actually look through the deck, you should see there's one playing card that's face down, and that is, their chosen playing card. As we said in the intro, this is a really, really easy stripper deck trick and anyone can do it at all. So as I said, you can take the cards, you can give them a cut, you can give them a shuffle, but make sure that they're all orientated the same way. Because with the stripper deck is essentially, the cards are tapered slightly. So when you take a card, put it in the wrong way in the deck, you'll be able to see there if it'll come up the card sticks out slightly and because of this it allows you to strip out that individual playing card and there's so many different things that you can do with it. So again using the cut, the cut still keeps the orientation of the deck the same. You can do a riffle shuffle as long as you do it the certain way of uh, sort of getting the cards off and doing a riffle like this because the way you get the deck off is you flip them so therefore it's the same way when you put them back together. So then what you do is you get the spectator to choose any card they want, it's a complete free choice. So for this one we'll just use the, the Queen of Spades just off the top. So what you need to do is when the spectator chooses their card, generally if you're from a spectator side, you'll get a card, you'll pick it out, you'll look at it, and it'll keep the orientation the same way. So you can either get the card back from the spectator, turn it round, or the way that I do it easily is so if I do this, the spectator is looking at the card there same way, just rotate the deck around, like so, and then when that card goes in, you can see there that's lost in the middle now, and when you look up close, you'll be able to see that that card is now facing the other way, so that card is tapered. So again, I can find that card super easy. So again, the spectator picks a card, you either turn the spectator's card around when you put that back in the deck, or turn the deck around. And now that card's in the middle, here comes the fun part. In the performance, this was done behind my back, but essentially all I'm doing is taking the deck, I'm stripping out this card, turn it upside down, putting it back in the deck, like so, and then turn the deck around. So when you tell them that their card has flipped over, all of the cards are flipped over essentially, but the card that you have stripped out and put over the other way is now facing downwards whereas the other cards are facing up. So essentially you've turned their card over in the middle of the deck. Another tip on this as well is if you don't want to take it out, turn it upside down, try to force it in the middle of the deck, all you have to do is take it out, put it on the top and then you can give the cards a cut and then that'll be lost in the middle somewhere and again that's their chosen card but that'll be facing the other way. So again just a run through, so we'll pick out any random card as you can see here. This is the Six of Clubs, lose that into the middle of the deck. Then you take the deck behind your back, take out the chosen card, flip that around, put it back in, and then bring the deck out like this. Or even if you bring it out like this, you can just say, look, I'm gonna turn your card over. And that's sort of a bit of a gag before you go, and say, no, look, really, I've turned your card over. All of the cards are turned over, apart from one. And that card has been turned over, and that's their chosen card that the spectator's got. So this is such a fun, easy and simple trick to do with the stripper deck and there's so many different variations you can do with it. Obviously to do the, the whole thing of uh, find a spectator's card is you choose any playing card, do this, you can strip it out, but there's so many different ways that you can do performance pieces and put them all together to do essentially the same trick but with a different feel to it and a different way of doing it. If you have any questions or queries, please leave a comment below about it. On the channel as well, I've got a video with five different stripper deck tricks in one video, but I'll be doing a lot more of these singular videos with the stripper deck on the channel soon as well. On the screen now should be a playlist that has other stripper deck tricks in it, and also the video for the five stripper deck tricks. So yeah, until next time, see ya.